Although if you look on the gray market, you can still find it here and there. But I don't know what's in this. It must be cracked. Because that's the way people respond when I wear it. This is from the house. YouTube, what's good, man? It's your boy, Darian. I am the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. This is the Fashion and Fragrance Channel. Yep, you found the right place if you're interested in fashion and fragrance looking good and smelling great. Look no further. I hope you guys don't mind subscribing to the channel. Make sure you bing hit that little bell icon as well. Uh, that way, anytime a new video is uploaded on YouTube, you'll get notified. So on today's video, I am going to be jumping into some fragrances in my collection that are uh, very attention-grabbing, provocative, sexy, whatever words you want to utilize to describe fragrances that get people's attention. In my experience, I've got 10 fragrances that I want to talk to you guys about on today's video. Now, oddly enough here, guys, some of these more fresher scent profiles have really been doing the trick for me here lately. Well, obviously, it's starting to warm up outside, so I've been mixing it up a lot. But listen, man, I got 10 fragrances I want to talk about. I'm not going to uh, belabor the time. I want to get into it because I want you guys to hear about these fragrances. So I'm going to run the intro, and when we come back, you know how we rock. We're getting into it. So if you want to see what I got on the list today, you know the routine. Keep it locked right here. The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. All right, we are back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's jump right into this video. Guys, I talked about this fragrance here on my spring niche fragrance video. And <laughs> this thing is beyond good, all right? And it's a very, in my opinion, safe scent profile. And I'm talking about a, about a fragrance from the house of Juice Box, and this is called Cheeky Smile. This is called Cheeky Smile. Now, what I love about this fragrance, like I said, it is really, 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 really easy to wear. Um, the main two notes that you're going to get from this fragrance is going to be ISO E Super, all right, and Ambroxan. Two uh, fragrance notes that have been being used in a lot of men's fragrances over the past five or six years. So just imagine combining... Baccarat Rouge 540 with Molecule 01. Yep, that's exactly what this fragrance kind of reminds me of. And just like those two fragrances, this is not overstated. It's almost one of those things where if you wear it or when you're wearing it, my experience has been you're not always able to pick it up, but folks around you are always picking it up. And I've been getting a lot of compliments on this fragrance, guys. Trust me on that. It's just one of those fragrances that works. I've worn it already three times out and about to work. Every time I've worn this fragrance, I've gotten multiple compliments. All right, serious business. And like I told you guys, I think the uh, first time I talked about it, I got this from Twisted Lily. And I think you can still use the link that I had. You don't even have to get a full bottle. All right, but click on the link and you can use the discount, the 10% discount, all right, and get a sample of it. Get a sample of it and see if it works for you guys. But me personally, I would go full bottle because this right here, is Bowtie Fragrance Guy approved. So check this one out, guys. It is from the House of Juice Box, and this one is called <laughs> Cheeky Smile. See, it made me, made me smile. <laughs> What's up, guys? My name is Darren. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy, and today I'm gonna tell you guys about some of the best fragrances on the planet. Now, I heard that it's the poor dog that won't wag his own tail, and I'm not a dog, and I'm not poor, so I'm gonna wag my own tail. <laughs> if you wanna see what I'm talking about, check out these fragrances are right here let's get it guys if you have not yet take advantage of the sale that's going to run through uh, the end of this week uh, on my fragrances you get one fragrance 15 percent off two 25 percent three 40 percent and all four 50 percent off the retail prices so head over to novelistbarfilms.com and go ahead and grab these fragrances while supplies last all right, guys, the next fragrance on the list actually comes from the house of Tiziana Terenzi, and this one is called Orion. This is called Orion. Now, I talked about this fragrance before. Um, I did a video where I compared a lot of the fragrances that remind me of Creed Aventus, and this was one of the ones mentioned. Yeah, it's going to kind of fit into that 
uh, profile, but this one has a lot more of a woodier scent profile to me than a Creed Aventus. There's a lot of notes in here that are gonna remind you of it though. Pineapple, apple, birch. But the cedar wood is really amped up in this fragrance to me. So I get a lot of that kind of dry cedar uh, in this fragrance, but it's phenomenal, man. And again, this has been catching the lady's attention. It really, really uh, gets some positive compliments when I wear this. And I'm talking about not these just, ooh, that's nice, what do you have on? Like, ooh, you smell really good. Those are the fragrances I'm talking about today. So check this one out, guys. It's from the house of Tiziana Terenzi. This one is called Orion or Orion. One of the two. <laughs> All right, this next fragrance on the list is actually one I've talked about before as well. And this is really clean and simple, but my guys, does it catch people's attention? This one is from the house of Chanel and it's called 1957. Chanel 1957, clean white musk and aldehydes and florals. My God, this thing smells good. When you smell it from the itemizer, yes, you get clean and fresh, but it does, it comes to life when it touches my skin, guys. Trust me on this. Don't pass this one up. From the house of Chanel, it is really clean and like I said, a light, like fresh fragrance that has this nice kind of uh, floral nuance in the heart of it. But man, listen, aldehydes as well. So again, very clean and fresh. And this thing gets the job done. It's from the house of Chanel. Again, it's called Chanel 1957. All right, guys, this next fragrance actually comes from the house of Killian by Killian. And it's one of their newest releases. I know they have one um, uh, from the Liquors Collection, I think, the new blue. I can't remember, it's called Blue uh, something. I don't know, I can't remember. But this one came out right before that, I think on Valentine's Day, and this has been reeling in the compliments and getting a lot of attention when I wear it. This is called Can't Stop Loving You by Killian, okay? Can't Stop Loving You by Killian, and like I said, this one has been getting a lot of compliments when I wear it. <laughs> Listen, it just works. And all honesty for me personally when I smelled it, because I'm such a big Killian fan. It wasn't my favorite, one of my favorites from Killian, but if I gotta, I gotta be honest about the responses that it's been getting from people, it works in that department, okay? Um, orange blossom, vanilla, honey, and one of the, pr the primary notes, or most notable to my nose is that oak moss. The oak moss really stands out in this fragrance, but like I said, it works. If you're looking for compliments, you're looking for positive attention, this one is gonna get the job done. It's from the house of Killian, and again, it's called Can't Stop Loving You. All right, and this next fragrance is one of the latest releases from the house of Initial Parfums. Need I say more, a house that is known for get, making these kind of scent profiles, this one is called Paragon. Paragon, and the only thing I gotta say about this fragrance, the one note that is in here that you need to know, and that is the note of plum. <laughs> this thing is so good, man. Uh, my wife was so surprised. She was like, oh my God, you're wearing that over and over and over. Because when I first got this fragrance, I wore it for about four days straight. Seriously, everywhere I went, I was wearing this fragrance because it, it's just an addictive kind of scent. And not only did I feel that way, but people that I was coming into contact with as well have been giving the same kind of feedback. Just really, really loving the scent profile. And like I said, Plum is one of those notes that have come into my uh discovery here over the past six months and one that i really fell head over heels for as a note and this has a lot of plum in it man so check it out it's from the house of initial parfums this is called paragon and like i said guys continuing on with the theme of the video the fresh fragrances have been really winning here as of late and this one is no different i've talked about it a lot but man every time i wear this fragrance i get a compliment and it's from the house of george off it's called pico Valladama. Pico Viadama from George Off. And again, all you gotta know is florals and aldehydes. Florals and aldehydes, and I'm gonna tell you right now, this is one of the cleanest, freshest fragrances I've ever put my nose on. And, but what I love about this the most is that it lasts all day long on my skin, seriously. No exaggeration, this fragrance really lasts all day long on my skin, and I can't get enough of it. I'm glad that it sticks around for as long as it does because it smells heavenly, literally. So check this one out. It's from the house of Jirajoff. It's called Pico Valladam. All right, guys, the next fragrance up on the list actually comes from the house of YSL. And unfortunately, I think this one has been discontinued. Although if you look on the gray market, you can still find it here and there. But I don't know what's in this. It must be cracked. Because that's the way people respond when I wear it. This is from the house of uh, YSL. It's Lime Weed Alone Blue Electric. 
Lon Weed Alone Blue Electric, and I am going to find a lot a larger bottle of this guys if you've been following my channel you know how much i love uh what's the other line not line we the loan but it's loan uh ysl loan um what's it called late perform i think it is the one that has in the blue bottle as well this is another level this is another level of magnetic and another level of compliments sincerely every time i put this on my skin someone has given me a positive response I see why a lot of people talk about so highly and glowingly about this fragrance um, and had so many, you know, things to say when it was uh, discontinued because it is one of the best. Guys, you got to get your nose on this one. You got to get your nose on this one. It has that you can smell the Lanwee de Long DNA underneath it uh, with a little bit more of a modern kind of blue twist. You just got to put your nose on it, man. So if you can find it, while you still can, guys, this is a good one to add to your collection. And on this list, this is one of the, the most cost-effective, at least right now, <laughs> uh, that you can find on the list. It's from the House of YSL. Again, this is called Lanoui de Lone Blue Electric. If sexy, seductive, and provocative fragrance had a picture or a name, I figured it would look or sound something like this. This is from the House of Narcotica, Doza. Doza. And this is for you amber lovers out there for me personally obviously we're about to transition to warmer climates uh warmer temperatures outside i won't be to wear i won't be personally wearing this one as much but my gosh i'm going to enjoy some more while the weather is still a little bit probably have some cooler days ahead but my god guys this is just sexy that's all i gotta say check it out i've talked a lot about it i've done some videos about it so Check it out if you can. It's from the house of Narcotica. This is called Doza. All right, guys, this next fragrance is from the house also of YSL. This is from their more private kind of collection. This is called Trench. Trench. Now this fragrance, oddly enough, was sold out uh, at one point. I could not get my hands on this. I don't know uh, if you guys remember me telling you the story about this one. I ordered it from Neiman Marcus. It was on back order. They said it was gonna take a month and then that month turned into two months. So I canceled that order and happened to go on fragrancenet.com and found this fragrance and my gosh, am I happy I was able to add this, man. This completed uh, the top five fragrances for me that I wanted to get from the YSL private collection. This is one of the best. This is one of the most versatile, one of the most mass appealing from that bunch and people go crazy when I wear this fragrance. It has basically iris and fig are the main two notes that I want to talk about. So you're gonna get that powdery uh, nuance that you normally get from Iris and then that kind of creamy, sensual um, fruitiness that come from fig combined together, home run. Check it out from the house of YSL. And again, this one is called Trench. And last but not least on the list today, man, I saved this one for last because I've talked the most about this one then any of the others on this list, one of the most mass appealing complimented fragrances in my entire collection from the house of Louis Vuitton. This is La Monsite. La Monsite. This is from Louis Vuitton. And anytime you go into the Louis Vuitton store, if you're looking at fragrances, most of the uh, sales reps are going to tell you this is the most sought after fragrance of all the Louis Vuitton fragrances in the entire store. And I see why. It just works. It just works, guys. It works. It works. So check it out. This is from the House of Louis Vuitton. If you get a chance to go into the boutique and put your nose on it, you'll see what I'm talking about. And again, this one is called La Masite. But that is it, guys. That is my time, man. I hope you enjoyed this video today as I gave you 10 provocative, sexy fragrances that I've been getting a lot of positive attention here wearing as of late. As always, I sincerely appreciate your time. I appreciate uh, you guys' attention to these videos as well. I know you don't have to watch what you do, and sincerely, from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate it. Now, don't forget to take a few moments to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you're sharing these videos out to some other folks out there that you think could use this information or find it entertaining. Because I'm your main man, Darren. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good, keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side.
Peace.